what's going on everybody this is Island Hopper TV coming to you from Reklovic Reklovic basically how you say it we are in Iceland it is about 5 p.m. we're gonna go up the hill here there's a church up at the top kind of do like a little loop around this area there is more stuff that way uh, there's a waterfront right over there where you come in on the cruise ship. But I want to take you guys to the top of the hill where the church is. They have a statue of Leif Erikson, who they call the son of Iceland. Now, they do say that Leif Erikson founded Newfoundland, which is North America. But if you talk to people out here in Iceland, they'll tell you that the Vikings were as far south as Mexico. And there was an Aztec god named Bjorn, who was a Viking. But when the Vikings arrived in Mexico, they brought with them diseases. And the one of the things is, just to clarify that story, because people will try to throw in their two cents. Remember, Leif Erikson and his father, Eric the Red, died in Greenland and why it's not so entirely impossible to assume that they just went one land mass over if they made it all the way to Greenland to like Newfoundland and Nova Scotia and even south I mean if you're a, a boat captain and you miss an island and you get lost a little bit and you just keep going to the next land mass then bingo you're there <laughs> so it's not an entirely possible impossible idea to assume that over a thousand years ago the Vikings were in North America I mean you miss Iceland or Greenland on the way next up North America <laughs> anyway it is July here this road is Ingolstrafati uh, if I said that wrong which I know I did Go ahead and try and give me the proper vernacular in the comments below. So, there's two ways to go here. There's towards the church, and then there's this way, but it's like a loop. So I'm going to go towards the church first. That's up at the hill. Iceland rainbow. Now I don't know what this rainbow is signif signifying, so I'm just assuming it's a nice path. Maybe they get a lot of rainbows here. I don't know. Or maybe it's for something else. Either way, it looks cool. As you can see way down range. There's the church. <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a travel guide around Iceland also. The thing is, I don't have a car right now. I might get a car, a rental car. We'll see. But tomorrow I'm going on a <clears throat> tour called the Golden Circle. So stand by for that video. And then I'm going to try and do the south side of Iceland, which is another tour. So we'll see. Seems like the tours are reasonably priced. About, I want to say you said it was either 11,000 or 17,000, which is a big difference. Cronus. Just to tell you a little bit about the city here, it's about 230,000 people. The entire country has about 330,000. So most of the people are here. <laughs> but 
considering how many tourists this place gets at any given time there's way more people than that because so many of these people we've been walking around here are tourists it's a very popular tourist des destination 20 years ago it wasn't even this uh popular you would come to Reykjavik and maybe there would be some stores or tourist stuff but it wasn't very accommodating but thanks to the likes of social media and instagram iceland boom oh also the volcanoes and the geothermal energy is a thing here they have an industry around that with that being said they have a lot of pools like saunas and stuff that you can go to you guys can fast forward this video at any time for the timestamps. Also, or you can keep listening as I tell you some stories. So I get in the shower and the water smells like sulfur. Well, I didn't know at first it was sulfur. I thought it was freaking uh, like dirty water. I'm like, yo, what's up with the smell of this water? Like, is this sewage water? You know? And then it dawns on me, I'm like, hello, dude, you're in Iceland, home of the geothermal <laughs> lagoons. And so, yeah, the water is salt, it smells like sulfur when it comes out of the shower head, at least at my hotel right here in Reykjavik. I don't know if that's everywhere, but I was like, hey, maybe it's a therapeutic. But man, that water was hot. Super hot. Like it, like you just turn the turn the gauge on there. And bam. It's like instantly hot, cooking, boiling, steaming. Like watch your <laughs> watch your hand hot. All right. So you can see, that's that statue I was talking about, of Leaf. But it's in front of this big cathedral. From what I understand, that statue was given to the people of Iceland from the United States. We're about to be up there. You know, as I walk around, it says it's, you know, 55 degrees, right? And it is cold, but once you start walking, you're like, ooh, it's a bit hot, a bit muggy. Like, I'm not wearing too heavy of a jacket, an undershirt, but I'm feeling a bit hot. Hot under the collar. I walked around here earlier today, that's how I know about these places. So yeah, this is the statue of Leaf. Let's see if we can actually go inside this church or cathedral, I don't know. Someone in the comments. But I noticed they have these, these Portuguese style pathway right here. You know, these little cobblestones. You can read what it says right there. Leifer Erikson, son of Iceland, discoverer of Vinland, the United States of America, and the people of Iceland on the thousandth anniversary of the Althing, AD 1930. So, a thousand years ago would have been 930 AD. His dad was Eric the Red, both of which died on Greenland. This is another place I'd like to go. They have a city there, or a town of 30,000 people, called Nook, or Nuk, N-U-U-K. Let's go in here and see what it's going to take. Um, I don't see anything saying no cameras. Here we go. Oh, wow. Pretty nice. 
anyway, this this one, I told you guys I don't typically film the uh, cathedrals because people say once you've seen one, you've seen them all, but that one just looked a little bit different. Oh, you got to exit through this way. I'll pause here. Okay, I decided not to wait in that souvenir line. Actually, I was wrong anyway. You don't need to stand in that in order to exit. I got distracted by the signs. Hotel Le Fleur Erickson. If you got a last name Erickson, maybe you're related to Leifer. Leifer. There's like a road down here that's got a lot of action too. Reykjavik is known for its uh, night nightclubs, I guess, and upbeat music. As far as safety goes, it's safe. I mean, you have to wonder what all these locals here on the island think of all these tourists <laughs> who come in mass to their island it's probably good for their economy though so it's like a double-edged sword it's like your peace and quiet and comfort suffers because tourists are absolutely ruckus most of the time they just come use your land have fun well you know you know how we are tourists i'm a tourist you just show up and produce a bunch of waste and leave. Spend some money. But, uh, no, but they spend a lot of money here. That's, that's good, right? You gotta make that monetary income. to thrive and survive in this day and age. And Iceland is actually a part of the EU, so. Fish and chips. They got a lot of fish. You can kind of see the ocean down there. This road that I'm coming up to here is where we've got a variety of different things. It's funny because out here they're like, on your tour, you're going to get some free ice cream. I'm like, okay, free ice cream. <laughs> and a beer. They like beer. They like to finish their day with a uh, nice soak in the lagoon. That road keeps going this way and that way. This is like the main drag, I think. Lag of... Lag of Let's see. Let me show you the. That's like the main road here. Because it's, it goes all the way this way, and it goes all the way that way. Oven baked pizza. Rasa Maduro. Oh, 
Greek kebabs. I'm getting the calling to go back to Greece. Ooh, I got a bar here. Sandbar. I wonder what they sell there. Greek house. Should I do Greek food while in Iceland? Maybe later. I feel like I need a beer first. Oh, the music. Uh-oh. Bagpipes. I have no idea how this is going to affect the uh, video, so. Arthur Cafe Vinbar. That's wine, right? Vin. Hi. How are you? Alright. I still need to hit up the ATM. I got Canadian Canadian dollars on me, but those won't work here. I did process through immigration. And uh, the line was long. It's like they dumped like four or five like international jumbo jets here at the same time. But our flight was an hour and a half delayed, so that's probably part of the problem. As long as all the flights are on time, everything flows smooth through immigration and customs. But if just one of those is late, then it just too many people trying to process through immigration. At one time. Monkeys cuisine. Ooh, Taco Tuesday. Nice variety of food out here, huh? Don't worry guys, I'm gonna be doing a full travel guide. This is just a tour of the downtown. This is walking downtown Reykjavik. Oh, let's go here. It's nice to have street performers on the street, actually. I just had some uh, great Vietnamese food. You know, I enjoy uh, Rockovic. Something about the air out here, you know? It's in the air. I think that's why so many people like it. Something about it when you get here. You have to come here and feel it and experience it, and it's here. It's just, like I said, it's in the air. Icewear. It's where you go to get your Icelandic warmer clothes. <laughs> I'm 
Mountaineers of Iceland, huh? Don't worry, guys. Like I said, in the travel guide that's coming, I'm going to do a lot more stuff. This is simply walking around the downtown area, showing you the goods. Whoa. Someone's getting rowdy. I had a beer. It was called Viking. It was tasty. Went down smooth. I could have done three of those. Although the person at the front desk at my hotel that I'm staying, I'll tell you the name when I'm when I leave. So you have to watch the other video to get the name of the hotel I'm staying at. But he hooked me up with a tour. A very friendly guy. He said, "Don't have any more than three beers tonight, because <laughs> tomorrow at nine." I am going on a tour. He's right. I was like, how did you know? Three beers, anything more than three beers, I'm possibly going to be making a mistake in terms of uh, how I feel tomorrow. I won't enjoy it. If I have three beers, you know, I tend to, the next day tends to be a little bit more difficult or less pleasurable. It's that three, three cap. <laughs> I was like, how'd you know that about me? Is that... Anyways, we're back where I began. So, uh, see you guys on the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the likes. Stay tuned for more videos from Iceland. Check the comments below or the description below for those videos.